Hi all, in this tutorial I'm going to take you through presenting with Keynote for the iPad and Keynote Remote. Okay, so let's make sure we have the right equipment. You're going to need the data projector, an iPad, you'll need the VGA adapter for the iPad, you need an iPhone or an iPod Touch, which is what I'll be using, and obviously the Keynote for iOS and the Keynote Remote for iOS as well. Connect the VGA adapter to the cable for the projector, making sure obviously that the cable is plugged into the back of the projector as we can see here it's in the computer one input. The projector's on but we don't have an image yet because it's not plugged into the iPad and even if it's plugged into the iPad we're not going to get an image until Keynote's actually playing. The next step is to make sure that Bluetooth has been enabled on both the iPhone or iPod Touch and on the iPad. So here I'm enabling Bluetooth on my iPod Touch. I also then need to make sure I go in and enable Bluetooth on the iPad. You don't need to pair the devices as you do a lot of the time with Bluetooth. It will just automatically work out uh, that they're connected. The other option with connecting them to each other is to actually connect it using a Wi-Fi network. I've actually done this quite a few times uh, using my HTC Desire Android phone, but let's not speak of that because obviously it's not an iPhone. In order to get this working, you need to set up an initial connection. So with the iPad, you need to go into your settings and then enable remotes. You won't find a remote until uh, you have one enabled, and then it will search for a remote. On the iPod Touch or iPhone, you also need to click link to Keynote. And then again, it will do the search, and it will want you to input a four-digit PIN uh, in both devices. Once you input the four-digit PIN, they'll now be connected to one another. Okay, so we connect the VGA adapter to the iPad now, and then we get into Keynote. So here I'm launching Keynote, and now I can press play on Keynote, and with any luck we'll see it projecting up on the screen. On the iPad itself you can have different views, so here I've got the current and the next slide, but also you can have the notes view, and so on. With some projectors it might not pick it up straight away, so you might have to um, get it to rescan for an input. So now I'm connecting Keynote Remote to Keynote on the iPad again and you can see there that initially I didn't get a connection but if I back out and go into the settings or even if I just wait it will connect up again. Sometimes it can take a few seconds for the Bluetooth on both devices to recognise each other. So now I have Keynote Remote on the iPod Touch Control and Keynote on the iPad, and of course the iPad is hooked up to the projector so I can see it on the big screen. I can swipe forwards on the iPod Touch, or I can swipe backwards to go to the previous slide. So that is presenting with Keynote and using the Keynote remote for iPod Touch and or the iPhone. Good luck with all your presentations.